Hello and welcome back to Castlevania Bloodlines! We are at stage 5. Are those trees like completely covered in moss or are they just magically completely green? Because why not? I think they're completely green because why not? It's Dracula's evil green thumb. Yeah, man. I wonder, like, they're growing out of rocks. Let me see if I can get this tentacle thing with the holy... The holiest of water. There we go. Oh, that's actually an enemy. I thought that was just like an obstacle on the map. Nope, everything is an enemy when it comes to Castlevania. Okay, that was not smart. Oh my gosh, these things change your controls. So it makes my... If I get sprinkled, it makes my left, right, and my right, left. Man, you get really sprinkled there. I try to avoid the sprinkling. Yeah. Don't you know why, Ethan? Why? Because marinating on the counter with the chip in his phone, you could tell that the hillside was his home. Most scratching the rest of the push up, because he got a chop suey in the bush. Uh. Sprinkle me, mate. Sprinkle me. Uh, huh? It's easy. What? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just completely ruin your joke? <laughs> nope. What is this? That only happens once. Totally forgot about it. But here, I gotta be careful because... Check this out, this is very cool. Yeah? The water turns to blood! And the blood skeletons rise. This isn't in the new generations game. Do you drown in this or no? No, it's just a cool effect. Aw. Uh, I'm sad you're not drowning. Come on, die. Die in the blood. You have the bloodlust. You know, I don't understand how people drown, you know? If you're drowning, just drink all the water. Right? Very, very true. You know, just drink the whole ocean. <laughs> Although that's salt water, it's nasty. Yeah. Have you ever try to drink salt water? Yeah, it's not fun. After you swallow a few gulps, you're done. Oh, yeah. Try my best here not to die. Just gonna use all my magic on this guy. Yeah, that, that almost looks like a mini boss to me. Except there's like 20 of them. I'm not bad as long as you have the boomerang. See, like, if you have holy water there, you're kind of screwed unless you use, like, the good ability for it. Ah. Uh, yeah, that took a lot of your mat. Ooh. Ouchies. Totally forgot about that death by chandelier! That sucks. Oh, we're back here, though. Oh, beautiful. Poifect. Poifect. Let's not get hit by chandeliers this time. Ooh, Again, I installed these things. Very faulty. Yeah, it's just like Gungeon, you know? Oh, I forgot you could do that in Gungeon. Yeah, there's actually an achievement you get in, like, it unlocks a weapon if you kill a hundred enemies with chandeliers. Oh, I know that. I don't think I ever got that one, though. Yeah, I don't think I ever got that one, either. You have to be patient to get that one. I'm not patient. Yeah, I'm not patient, either. We're both not patient, guys! <laughs> We've discussed patience so much already. Yeah. Like, Are you guys patient? Let us know in the comments. I'm not patient, but I'll sit there and do repetitive things for, like, hours on end. Such as a clicker game. <laughs> Yeah, Ethan's pretty ridiculous. When he yeah. was younger, I'd pick him up and he'd have his like phone or tablet out and he'd just sit there and click. Or just tap his fingers on it for like yeah. half for like a crap. Yeah, for like two hours straight. I'm probably in a carpal tunnel in like two minutes. Probably. Give me the boomerang. Alright, I'm kind of playing sloppy on this. But hopefully it won't matter. Will you get wall meat soon or no? Unlikely. I'm just going to walk by this guy. That's a pretty cool a statue of something. Get there, get there, get there. As long as I'm crouched on the bottom here, I can just hit away their flames. That's pretty weird. The First, bone totem? Yeah. The, well, no, what I've is it, like a T-Rex? I've seen them before. I know what those are, but it's kind of weird that they're all facing the wrong way when you come in the room. Alright, we are getting close to death, I believe. And then like the after that is... actually dying. Oh, both. Well, actually, I think we got the girl for or two girls first, and then death. Oh, yeah. This is a long level. I think they're in this level. Do I want to go up? This looks like it should be a boss room. I hope I don't get hit here. And I am dead once again. Alright, we're back in this room. I want that, I want that, I want that. Thank you. I think we're just going to move on if I can. Okay. Oh, I can't. Why? Oh, that's the... That's Morris's route, not my route. Alright. If you believe, you can make the jump. Do you believe? Do you believe in magic? I mean, I think I do now that I've seen you shooting axes out of a spear. 
Shoot. Well, there's floaty eyeball man on the wall. I think I can hit this guy, but I'm not positive. Let's see if I can hit this one. Can you do the jumpy stab? Yeah, but he's gonna laser me instantly. Oh, you can't like jumpy stab up from underneath them. Nope. You gotta get out of here. Duck. This looks like a huge pain. Yeah, if I fall, I'm dead here now, so I gotta be careful. Oh, Those really? lasers knock me back. It's not that bad that I can just crouch right away. Yeah. Except okay. for that guy, I cannot. <gasps> Alright, just get there. Oh, I got lucky there. Yeah, you got, got the it. immunity frames. Hopefully, this doesn't boss immediately. If it is, I will crush him with my bare hands, aka my spear. Yeah. My magic bare hands made of metal that sharpened and attached to a long wooden pole. Yes. I have, I have some serious medical problems. But man, are they good for killing evil monsters. Yeah, it's almost like they're enchanted metal. Can you imagine if this was really, like, happening back in the day? The world would suck. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't suck anymore. Is that mirror? I really need meat. I don't really know where all the wall meat is, so that kind of poses me a little bit. What do you mean? I thought you had a magic wall meat detector. I wish. These little gremlins were chasing me the whole time. Yeah, just pull it up on Google Maps and look for local restaurants. Wall meat will pop up everywhere. Right, we're going down. Like, this, like, at the Leaning Tower of Pisa, where are all the people? Like, the tourists. Like, it's not like you're the last person alive in the world. Alright, good. I was a little worried about that part. Oh, these guys and their crazy bow and arrow shots. They're really bad at shooting bows. Die. Please. He's nice. Not... Okay. I'm one HP here, so we gotta really be on our toes. Do not want to get hammered. It is not hammer time. Yeah, you don't want it to be hammer time. If it's hammer time, it spears through the chest time. Alright, so far so good. I think there's a big guy coming. Or just a roller. Freaking magical Roomba. Death Roomba. I'm sorry that he was disabled and needed a wheelchair. Or, you know, he was using a... Uh, Segway. <laughs> Segway, yeah. Magical Segway man. S Segway night cop. Exactly. He's, he's the Segway cop of that arrow. Exactly. Maybe nice. we could take Morrison for that other route. Then I gotta play as him, and yeah, I'm not I used to playing as him. I guess, yeah, that would make sense. So he has different- Morrison has different attacks? Isn't it just Morris? I thought you were been calling him Morrison. <laughs> no, I've been calling him Morris. John Morris, isn't it? Oh, well, maybe. Did Jonathan Morrison. Yeah. Uh, man, I love when you play as, uh, um, man, Alicardi is a pretty cool vampire. Alicardi? Yeah. That sounds like a, like a buffet line. Yeah. Alicardi! <laughs> Yeah, Alec Hardy. He's he's a pretty cool vampire. He's actually half. He's a hybrid. Oh, the guy got me twice. He's so good. Is Dracula a vampire or is Dracula Dracula? That's the real question. His name's Dracula. This guy's got a gun. This part's kind of interesting. He's got like a magic gun. But is Dracula like a special vampire? Here we go. Dracula? Oh, wow, I forgot about this. This part is M Mr. Mr. Two Eyes. If I can actually hit it in the right spot, it's extremely easy. You can actually hit him through the madness as long as I don't get wrecked. Dang it. This is gonna be a lot closer than it should be. Am I just going for this pillar? I think you can only hit there. There we go. Okay. I think uh, it's the pillar here. I think it's like the pillar when they're not showing. I mean, it's, I think it's when the pillar's invisible, you hit that, and when they're invisible, you hit them. Okay. That's what it looks like. I might be wrong, though. Alright, we got some holy, holy water, and now we got an axe. So they'll let you pick which one you want there, and I'm not sure which one's better. That's pretty interesting. I wonder if they throw a boomerang at you later and just give you magic spear. Alright, so here are the actual bosses. Like, the, like, whoever it is. I believe it's the girl. Yeah, it's the girl. 
This is not Bartley. Who is it? I'm not sure. She turns into something else. This might be Medusa. Nope, this is Mothra. From Godzilla. Oh, oh okay. That's, yeah, that is straight up Mothra. I know. It's exactly. Like here, it's funny if I have the upgraded spear instead of that special, Godzilla comes out. I'm really? Press it here, yeah, it's an Easter egg. It's pretty cool. Totally lying to you. And the audience right yeah, now. Yeah, I totally knew that, man. Man, I'm, I'm not gonna go sit in the corner and cry because I'd leave my eyes and I'm disappointed. Uh -oh. I hope I don't die from her babies. Are her babies Godzilla? Oh, her babies would kill me. Alright. We should start there, though. Yeah. Alright, we are back at Mothra. As you can see, there is a cocoon right here that she busted out of. It's a pretty, pretty cool. Pretty spiky looking cocoon. It's, it's really it's, evil looking. Yeah, and it's like full of drippy blood. It's kind of scary. I wonder what she looked like before like a coup and if she was just like a like a hulking caterpillar. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's weird she busted out and then became a human. Yeah. And she, then uh, transformed then... into a moth. Well no, you needed to stab her with your magic spear hands first. True. <laughs> See she was actually waiting for you to come along and she's so happy that you turned her into a moth and now you're like, oh no, it's a moth, it's gonna eat my clothes. And you gotta take care of her. I'll get not... some mothballs, that yeah. I'll take care of her. You're not ready for this responsibility. Need her to stop laying eggs. Is it's that actually the, a lot harder without magic. Is that the reverse control dust or no? No. That's good. That would be an absolute nightmare. Should have her here. Yeah. Good job. She got wrecked. Congratulations. Might as well twirl the spear. Haven't done that for a while. Twirl it. Twirl it. Pick up the orb. I slide that gently into my anus. <laughs> I don't have pockets, so. <laughs> yeah. As you can tell, I'm wearing like a skirt thing. Yeah. Not the best choice in fashion, yeah. but it's all no, that no. was here. It's not very protective either. Not at all. All right, so next time we're going to go to stage six, which is, I believe, the last stage, and then we're going to fight three bosses here. That have to be the last stage. It looks like the last stage. Yeah. I think, yeah, final stage start. Yeah. Okay, so next time we're going to do this, and then we'll fight Medusa, Death, and Dracula. You're just taking a nice little bath in that little pot there with your head sticking up. Mmm. Mmm. Bath. Bath. 